interweb friends. The first out of the three costumes that I'm going to show you how to make today is Zero from The Nightmare Before Christmas. Taking a piece of fabric, I use felt material, you're going to fold it in half, and then you are going to draw the profile of Zero's head. It should look a little something like this. Once done, you are going to cut it out. And then you are going to sew this area above his snout and the back of his head only halfway through. There's no need to sew the top because that part is already attached. You did not cut around from the area you folded. This is probably the most elaborate out of the three costumes that I'm showing you. But if I, who have little to no sewing experience, can do it, you can too. So here I am flipping it inside out once I was done sewing it. And now I am ready to add the ears. To make the ears, I drew a sort of tail shape, or at least that is what it looked like to me. And then you are going to take some hot glue and glue the ears to the top of the head on each side. In addition to gluing, you can also stitch them on for safe measure. Taking some black felt material, you are going to cut out two small ovals for his eyes and glue one on to each side of his head. As for his nose, he has a pumpkin nose, so taking a piece of orange fabric and some polyfill, you are going to wrap the polyfill in the fabric, sort of like a lollipop, and then stitch it and tie it up and then cut the excess material off. Once your little nose is ready, you are going to stitch it on to the tip of the snout. Taking a squared piece of fabric that fits comfortably over your dog, take the head that you just made and glue it on like so with some hot glue. You can also stitch it on as well. I also ended up cleaning the costume up a bit by cutting some of that head material fabric that was on the sides. Finally, for the last step, I glued on a red strap of fabric near the collar section to resemble Zero's collar and then added some velcro to it so that I could tie it around my dog. And once that is done, that is it, and you have yourself a Zero costume for your dog. I was really happy with how this one turned out. I think it would be perfect for a Jack and Sally couples costume. Up next is a super easy Beanie Baby costume. To make the Beanie Baby tag, cut a heart out of red felt. I forgot to press record when I did that part. I did not forget when I made the letters. For the letters, you're gonna need some white felt material and you're gonna trace out the T and the Y. I used this label here to help guide me. When you are done cutting, place the letters onto the heart in the way you want to glue them on, and then glue them on. Finally, cut a slit on the top corner of the heart and loop through some ribbon so that you can tie the tag around your dog. Once that's done, you have your tag. You can also add a star, like some Beanie Baby tags have, if you'd like. I like this one because it's made out of felt, so it's a little more durable. I've seen some made out of paper, but my dog would destroy that one easily. And by the way, extra points if your dog actually looks like a little bear. The last costume is Georgie from the movie It, and this one is the easiest of them all. You are going to need a red balloon, which you can find at a party store, and a yellow raincoat. I found this one on Amazon, I'll link it down below. Once you have those two items, put the raincoat on your dog, tie the balloon to his collar, and you have yourself a Georgie from It costume. You can also go the extra step and make a paper boat for him too. This one would also be a good costume if you wanted to dress up as it. I don't think I would do that. Too scary for me. 
finally, don't forget to treat your pups. After all, it is Halloween. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Vicky, and I will see you guys with another video very soon. Bye-bye. Thank you.